This is a story about a man who is reborn into a world where angels and demons coexist, and through each experience, he constantly continues his story with those small daily creatures. Lu Qing lowered his head, I saw Jia Bailey gently pulling at the corner of his clothes, and her voice was soft and cute. Sister asked me to call you home for dinner. Okay. And. What else is there? Jia Bailey suddenly lifted her head and said expressionlessly, and I warn you not to go out and indulge in promiscuity. Ha ha ha, you're joking, Zaya Bailey. My demon sword, which just saved the world, how could it be possible? Lu Qing's laughter stopped abruptly, as Jia Bailey silently pointed her fingers towards the hall below the floor. At this moment, two small one-meter-long transformed sword spirits were wrestling together in the hall. Master is mine. It's mine, it's mine, it's mine. Pooh, it's clear that I came first, ah, 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 ah. Land Transportation This book is also known as, Time Traveling. About my love with angels and demons, and, I am forced to save the world with tracheal disease, additionally, a QQ group was established, 86807843. 111 one, one, Waha, the introduction is fake, the story is also fake, and the QQ group is also fake. Release the bag, the bag is not crazy Waha keywords of the novel. Jia Bailey's Happy Life with No Pop Ups, Jia Bailey's Happy Life Complete Collection Download, Jia Bailey's Happy Life Latest Chapter Reading. Chapter 1 Preface You are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 1 Preface The Demon Realm, the stronghold of all demons in the world, has remained unchanged for a hundred years. The fiery red sun is always half hanging on the horizon like a sunset, burning the earth and presenting a scene of apocalypse. The heavenly realm, accompanied by the ups and downs of the human world, is the place where angels rely for survival. All angels are born with a kind and pure heart, as if their arrival is to suit the misfortunes of the world. People always think that demons symbolize evil, and angels symbolize justice, and that's exactly the case. According to legend, hundreds of years ago, demons posed a threat to the human world, and angels could not bear the remnants of the human world. This marked the beginning of a great war. Hell was once illuminated by holy light, shining brightly in the sky. The heavenly realm has also been polluted, losing its rightful brightness, and dust has covered the world. This demonic battle ultimately ended with the breaking of the gates of hell and heaven. Since then, all demons and angels have signed agreements that demons will no longer harm humanity, and angels have no choice but to swing their swords at demons. Together, they built the twelve gates, connecting the three realms of heaven, earth, and demon. This agreement constrains all demons and angels from facing each other with swords and knives, but time passes by with the arrival of a new generation, and the true story is thus reopened. I apologize for the poor writing earlier. At the beginning of this book, I probably didn't even think about signing a contract, so I wrote a few chapters. But I didn't expect to sign a contract. As a newcomer, I haven't written much about my experience yet, so what I wrote earlier was not very good. But basically, I will fill in the holes that are buried, unless I forget of course, the rest is not that good either. If you see that the front doesn't look good, perhaps you can give it a try and skip to chapter 144. The chapter where the protagonist and Jia Bailey started together, anything that was not well written or not smooth, can be said, just hoping to bring you a better story. Also, for newcomers, please ask for some recommended tickets, monthly tickets, and tips, hee <laughs> hee. The bag is really working hard to improve, trying to find a way to write it out. Better things come, just like this bleak life, we can only find ways to live more and more brilliantly. End of this chapter. Chapter 2. The Hand of God and the Sword of Magic. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 2. The Hand of God and the Sword of Magic The abandoned gates of hell are located near the Styx River. A handsome man, dressed in a white shirt, raised his sword and spread his arms, as the wind blew stepping, like rising in the wind, one's feet are not stained with dust. 
When wielding a sword, the qi is like a rainbow, seemingly chaotic, but in reality, there are countless variations in each move. Closing the sword, it is like water. In the moment it enters the sheath, the ripples around the body smooth out the noise of all things. The wind stopped, and Lu Cheng only felt that he was so clear and outstanding, with an extraordinary aura. Above is the brain supplement screen, it's truly you, Teacher Lu. How about we change our name to Land God Sword in the future? The first sword in the world, Lu Jianxian. After all, who made me the first swordsman in the demon world, Harm Lu Cheng stood still, feeling proud and adding, after all, no one in the demon world ever wields a sword. But it doesn't matter. Hey, I'm just practicing, just playing, at the same time, Lu Cheng looked at the sword in his hand, with an imperceptible smile on his face and trembling hands. Imagine which boy didn't have a martial arts dream of wielding a sword and wandering the world. Or perhaps in a dream, one can cultivate immortality, stand on the mountaintop, hold a sword in their arms, face enemies of thousands and millions, and fiercely wield the sword. With one sword, one can freeze nineteen states, covering the sky and the stars. Enemies come to slay enemies, gods block and kill gods, and Buddhas block and kill Buddhas. Of course, as someone who cultivates immortality in reality, I respect you as a man at the same time, a gentle breeze blew behind, and feathers fell from the sky, causing a feather rain to fall. As Lu Cheng took a deep breath, a feather quietly floated down to his nose. Ah, ah sneeze. A sneeze came out, and Lu Cheng rubbed his nose, so he was dissatisfied. Who is that? Every time they come, they just drop bird feathers everywhere, really. Brother, as a demon, I'm afraid of losing my hair. What's wrong with that? We're just as afraid of losing your angel feathers as we pick them up by by. Hmm. The newcomer was dressed in white clothes, with blonde hair and blue pupils, flawless white feathers unfolding, and a massive angelic force surging, seemingly ready for war. Innocent Galu White. It is known as the Hand of God, and has been named the Kindest Angel in the Heavenly Realm for three consecutive times. Its wings are twice as large as those of ordinary angels. It is rumored that one has the power to destroy the world with just a few fingers. Cough, 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 cough. Anyway, we are old acquaintances, right? Upon seeing this, Lu Cheng quickly stopped Jia Lu. After all, if we fight again, the already dilapidated gates of hell may really turn into ashes. Originally, Lu Cheng could still barely borrow this door, but I don't know if ghosts feel like sneaking into the human world to play. But since accidentally injuring the gate of hell before it is estimated that only powerful, fearless, people like Jia Lu can shuttle through the coordinates of hell's gate now, right? Lu Chen thought to himself. Anyway, he couldn't risk his soul being torn apart by wearing it around. When did I admit that we were old acquaintances? Jielu remained unmoved, but obediently inserted her wings into her body, her breath restrained. Don't be like this, is it just because of race? Look at you, you imitate humans, and I also imitate humans, dogs, isn't it very compatible? Is there a problem with race? No problem, Lu Cheng placed his hand on Jia Ailu's shoulder, listening left and right in his speech, expressing a certain idea. People cannot, as for not, but they can. Pop. With a slap on Lu Cheng's salty pig hand, Jia Ailu hesitated for a moment and still spoke up. Are you okay? Okay, it's been so long since you came to confront me, it's really good. You know that's not what I'm referring to. Speaking of which, it's been a year since we last saw each other, Gelu. Faced with Jia Ailu's question, Lu Cheng set aside the topic and did not respond. 
Looking up at the sky, I saw feathers floating down every kilometer, and even the surrounding air was infused with a holy aura. It's really beautiful. Luching reached out and grabbed. Pure feathers melt in the palm of the hand, and a gentle warm current flows into the body. I truly deserve to be an angel, even a small feather has the effect of curing diseases and purifying the soul. Under the strong pressure, Lu Qing felt so comfortable that he wanted to ponder. This was the last time he pondered in his heart. Reached out and grabbed another piece. Ah refreshing, the last time. Cheer up, Lu Qing, don't fall, don't let the angels see a joke. Lu Qing deeply despised his childish behavior and swore that it would be the last time. The most, the most, the last time. Jia Ai Lu. Jia Ai Lu, standing beside her, watched as Lu Cheng jumped up and down in front of her, grabbing feathers and playing. The corners of her mouth twitched slightly imperceptibly. Forgive me for being blunt, you're just a joke. Jia Ai Lu let out a sigh in her heart. Stepping forward, there was a second finger. The brain was pounding, accompanied by Lu Cheng's heart-wrenching cries. Bang! Ah, it hurts, it hurts. Be careful, I'll expose you for breaking into the demon realm in the magic court, Miss God's hand. Lu Cheng covered his head, his eyes ferocious, and spoke in pain. It is obvious that this is indeed a critical strike. You can give it a try, Mr. Magic Sword. Jia Ai Lu crossed her hands and clasped them in front of her chest, calmly speaking. It's up to you, Jia Ai Lu. Jia Ai Li used brain gourd bang on Lu Cheng. Excellent performance. Lu Cheng called out to Jia Ai Lu. There is no effect. Lu Cheng has fallen. Jia Ai Lu gained one EX experience. Magic Sword. What an unpleasant title, please call me Land God Sword in the future. The first sword in the world. Land Sword Immortal. Lu Cheng tried to change his folk nickname again. In his opinion, the title, Magic Sword, was really low and explosive, but it was actually, God's Hand, which sounds much better Jia Ailu, dot. Sometimes it's really hard for her to imagine that the person in front of her is the so dot called, Magic Sword, recognized as the great demon in the heavenly realm. Lu Cheng The story originated from the graduation ceremony in the demon world three years ago. Someone refused to use the unified allocation of Rankinus, Harpoon, from the demon school and claimed to come from the New Oriental, resulting in not only not being able to go to the adult world for training, but also being assigned to guard the abandoned gates of hell. However, coincidentally, that year, Lu Qing met Jia Ai Lu who came to inspect the demon world. At the beginning of their meeting, the two of them became intimate due to some misunderstanding, and at the same time, they flourished in the demon world. Although some unexpected changes occurred later, which improved the relationship between the two, unfortunately, it caused another heavy blow to the originally half-left Hellgate, which turned out to be even more difficult. Since then, Lu Cheng has never seen Jia Ai Lu again. But the name, Magic Sword, is still gradually spreading and becoming well dot known to everyone. And whenever I think of myself refusing the principal's request for him to graduate from school and undergo human experience because he could illegally cross the border. Lu Cheng wished he could slap himself hard, even if he was being monitored and his economy was limited. Even a slight move could lead to being besieged, which was better than being here. Lu Cheng. Woo 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 woo, asterisk, on the side, Jia Ai Lu looked at Lu Cheng, who was talking to herself, and helplessly stroked her forehead. It's really true that I live completely in my own spiritual world. End of this chapter. Chapter 3. Real Illusions. You are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 3 Real Illusions, Call Out Beside the bonfire, Lu Cheng gently blew his breath at the burnt wood in his hand. This is a type of vegetation that can grow as usual in hell, red and charred. The fire it burns is delicate and long-lasting, with a cleansing effect on the soul. Ah, a few palm-sized milk dragons were circling around him. 
The little milk dragon had two small horns and small wings, with a protruding belly button, and raised its tender claws to continuously beat Lu Cheng. Ha! <laughs> Lu Cheng sneered and continued to blow at Qiang Jiamu, unmoved. Laugh to death, it doesn't hurt at all. A little milk dragon happened to see that Lu Cheng's sneer on his face gradually widened in its eyes, causing it to collapse to the ground in fear, and his short legs kicked back several steps. Okay, it's so scary woo 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 woo, Gyalu sat on the ground, watching the gradually dimming sky, recalling the demon world recorded in the heavenly realm, with a slightly moved expression. The changes in the demon world are really significant. Oops, feeling something tugging at the corner of her clothes, Gyalu lowered her head. I saw a little milk dragon with watery eyes and helpless hands pointing to one side. Jia Ailu looked in the direction pointed by her little hand, and her gaze fell perfectly on the jiaobin in Lu Cheng's hand. At this moment, sparks appeared on the scorched wood, indicating that it was about to catch fire. Hmm, hmm, oh. Upon seeing this, Little Milk Dragon quickly tugged at the corner of Ga Ailu's clothes, desperately pulling towards Lu Cheng. Cough, cough, cough. Realizing that he was being mercilessly watched by Ga Ailu, Lu Cheng let out a guilty cough, but his hands mercilessly threw the last piece of wood into the fire. It's completely dark now. The orange-red flames ignited, driving out an inexplicable chill. One person, one dog, oh no, one angel, one demon huddled around the fire to keep warm. Even the few little milk dragons next to Lu Cheng were exhausted from beating, flipping and tilting like dead fish on Lu Cheng's shoulders, occasionally turning over. In reality, even the strongest demon or angel is only a physical mortal, no different from ordinary humans, without activating their magic. A cold wind struck, and the campfire shook in the wind. The soft glow of the fire shone on Galu's face, giving her a rare warmth on top of her high coldness. Lu Cheng was stunned. So cute. Speaking of which, Jia Ailu also has a lowly face and an imperial sister's body. Thinking about it, Lu Cheng suddenly fell silent, glanced at the flat airport, and couldn't help but sigh. Even though I hold 91078 JQK in my hand and you are paired, I still cannot resist it, Ga Ailu. Coming towards us was another two finger brain collapse. Bang! Guy withdrew his smoking finger expressionlessly. We have known each other for three years, Lu Ching sang. The implication is that I have known each other for three years, and under the influence of Lu Cheng's ears and eyes, even though she was the first pure novice, she should have understood some things a long time ago. Lu Cheng's face twisted as he covered his bulging forehead, enduring the pain and gritting his teeth as he continued to die. That's what I said. But you vicious woman, can you stop knocking on the same spot every time? Then I grabbed a frying pan from somewhere and covered my head with lightning speed, hoping to use it as a cover. Unexpectedly, this time Jia Ailu didn't make any movement, just glanced at Lu Cheng with her eyes and gently caressed the little milk dragon lying next to her with both hands. The little milk dragon let out a cry, and its short hands and feet drooped weakly. It feels like it's already a useless dragon. Didn't you hit me? Is shopping in the demon world deceiving me? Lu Ching felt secretly pleased in his heart, and with an artificial sigh, he took out two bottles of canned Sprite from his hand. Yeah, I didn't expect it to have been this long. Puff. X2 Lu Ching reached out and handed Sprite to Ga Ailu, saying, No, we have the last inventory from a few years ago. A bright light flashed through Gyalu's blue pupils, and she fell silent for a moment, not answering. Land root. The bubbles bulging inside are carbon dioxide and have not been poisoned. It's really non-toxic. Watching Ga Ailu finally take Sprite from his hand Lu Ching sighed. How has trust between people gradually disappeared? It seems that you haven't recalled any of your dirty methods before, Lu Ching sang. Jia Ailu spoke up and repeatedly brushed the sprite in her hand with cleansing technique several times before finally taking a small sip with peace of mind. Land Root 
The demon world has undergone significant changes this year. What changes? Lu Cheng looked bewildered, and there was not much change in his impression. Gai Lu looked up at the sky, the meaning unclear. Lu Cheng's mouth twitched, at least he had never thought that someone's misunderstanding of the demon world would be so profound. Ah, Elu Sauce, actually. There were four seasons in the demon world hundreds of years ago. Jielu. Don't you know? This was still repaired when you angels entered the demon world during the demon wars at that time. Before Jia Ailu could reply, Lu Cheng quickly added. When you came before, you always picked your lunch break time. Every time you beat up, after beating up, you just left, not knowing how to stay a little longer. As he spoke, Lu Cheng felt something was wrong. It was reasonable to say that higher education students like Jia Ailu should not have done it, so he changed his mind and asked. Is it not recorded in your angel's history books? Jia Ailu's face blushed with embarrassment and she turned her head to one side. Well, maybe the elders at that time thought it was just a simple task. Is that so? So you angels are really kind. They both planned to exterminate each other's families. Don't forget to install 4G in people's homes first. Lu Qing roast constantly, and at the same time, he puts the snoring baby milk dragon on the ground to run the familiar, devil power, in his body. This is the first time in nearly a year that he has used the demonic power within his body. Centered around him, as the barrier unfolds, the surrounding time twists and all scenes change color. Sensing the changes around her, Gaialu stood up and looked around from afar. I saw stars and dots hanging on the pitch black sky, and a gentle breeze blew by. The orange campfire drifted with the wind, and the trees made a sound. Small lamps floated gently in the air, and fireflies emitted a golden glow. This is the place in Lu Cheng's impression where he was born and raised. Suddenly, Gaialu looked up at the sky, her pupils dilated, her clear eyes flickered and the emerald and blue flower pendant above her head floated in the wind, making a crisp sound. As if her mood was fluctuating at this moment. In the sky, five dazzling planets emit brilliant starlight, making the surrounding stars pale. Lu Cheng took a deep breath and his eyes became deep, carrying longing as he gazed towards the five starred pearls in the sky. He seemed to gaze towards a place with all his beautiful memories. The old man said that this phenomenon is not common, it is a sign of auspiciousness, and the saying goes that the five stars come from the east, benefiting China. One day. The reader noticed that the order of the characters was wrong. When they wanted to make changes, they hesitated for a moment and didn't make any changes. Perhaps this is the witness of growth. After writing more than 10,000 words, they will come back to read it, and perhaps it is a different feeling. End of this chapter. Chapter 4 I, who should cooperate with you, perform to my heart's content. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 5 The story of teenagers and girls continues. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 5 the story of teenagers and girls continues night falls again this time, Lu Cheng threw the Qiang Jiao in his hand towards Jia Ailu, as if to prove to her that he had not made any small moves this time. Arnold, let's play the story relay, Elu Sauce. Jia Ailu took over Qiang Jiao with one hand and repeatedly practiced purification techniques dozens of times in Lu Cheng's heart block before igniting it and throwing it into the spring fire pile. Drink up the sprite that you haven't finished before elegantly. With a single hand grip, GAI lose soda cans, which were originally only likely to naturally decompose after 80.100 years, suddenly turned into tiny dots and dissolved in the air. Okay. At this moment, Lu Cheng's forehead was slightly bulging with veins. Although he didn't really want to continue speaking at this moment, the remaining rationality still urged him to weave the beginning of the plot. Once upon a time, there was a mountain with a dilapidated temple and no one inside. 
It wasn't until one day that a handsome and imposing young man climbed to the top of the mountain, wielding a long sword with extraordinary momentum, that he began his daily practice. Until one day, a young girl suddenly popped out of the temple. At this point, Lu Cheng stopped and turned his gaze to Jia Ailu on the side. He raised his eyebrows and hinted to her to start his own performance. This is not playing story relay. Gailu let out a sigh, her tone mixed with memories. The girl came from another distant mountain and originally just wanted to see if this mountain was really as dilapidated as described by the elderly members of the tribe. Unexpectedly, as soon as they met, the young man tried to deceive the girl's trust with awkward words such as you, comma, wife, comma, self, comma, far, comma, fong, and li, dot. Speaking of this, Ga Ailu stopped and glanced at Lu Cheng, wanting to hear what reasonable explanation he would give for those vulgar remarks. Puff. Sprite spewed out from Lu Cheng's mouth, and I didn't expect that three years ago, Ga Ailu could still remember so clearly. A young man's every word is true, emotional, flowing, and revealing. Ran. The atmosphere suddenly became solemn, and Lu Cheng revealed the doubts that had been troubling him for a long time. To this day, the young man still cannot understand why the girl suddenly started to fight him. Because the girl sensed the most evil aura in the boy, its intensity was visible throughout the girl's life. So the girl fought fiercely against the boy. That's right, no heavenly maiden would be attracted to this kind of aura. Even if in contact, the girl discovers that the young man has no malice and is by no means a wrongdoer. Girls' clan rules, without asking for the origin or location, once this aura is detected, execute immediately. In just one year, the two of them engaged in a total of 67 battles, and dozens of battles ended with the young man being beaten first and then fleeing. There are too many lewd words from teenagers. Land Root A year later, the girl discovered something wrong. Jia Ailu took a deep look at the sword that Lu Cheng had been hanging around his waist all year round, which was the source of all the problems at that time. So, after several months of silence, the boy received his second sword in his life. Quickly, the girl confirmed her conjecture, but before the aura dissipated completely, she did not intend to stop her daily sparring with the boy. The boy is very happy because he has at least gained a lot of power. He has an occasional chance to chat. The girl's attitude towards teenagers has eased somewhat. At the end of the second year, with the help of the second sword, the young man finally completely erased the evil aura that the girl was talking about from her sword. That day. That day. This time it's no longer a storyline of you and me. Lu Cheng and Jielu spoke at the same time, but remained silent at the same time. The day of fighting side by side left a deep impression on both of them. Gelu stopped speaking and simply cast her gaze through the divine eye towards a distant place. A crack here is deep and bottomless, like an abyss. And the fracture is neat and smooth, like an insurmountable cliff separating two places, spanning dozens of kilometers, still emitting a sword-like aura of awe to this day. Since then, the young man has not seen the girl for a long time, and he is alone guarding the dilapidated temple on the mountain. However, since the day of separation, the young man has been eagerly anticipating the reunion of the two. Because he firmly believes that the story of teenagers and girls continues seeing that both sides were unwilling to continue the story, Lu Cheng took the initiative to put a tragic end to the story. Although stories are always seven parts true and three parts false. But with the resolution of misunderstandings, the relationship between the two has also been elevated at this moment. So what, is the cost of healing me high, G.A.I. Lu? Lu Cheng rubbed his hands and asked anxiously. It's nothing. Faced with Lu Cheng's concern, Jia Ailu shook her head and realized that her angelic power was probably non-existent. As long as she had enough time, she could slowly cultivate and return. Is it really okay? Hmm. That's fine. Lu Qing breathed a sigh of relief, looked around, and then looked at his empty hands, puzzled and said. Speaking of the gates of hell and the frying pan I previously held in my hand. 
Perhaps it has been burned to ashes by the angel's light. Jia Ai Lu. Their sins are too heavy. Lu Ching said, I can still understand the gates of hell. But although my flat pot is not ancestral, at least it was also purchased by the Demon Realm shopping program station through, snatching, with strength. How could it be a serious crime? Lu Ching gritted his teeth and seriously suspected that this move had a bug in the process of determining the severity of the crime. Seize and purchase a person with the utmost kindness in their heart based on their strength. Lu Ching judgment the most good person. Blessed. Jia Ai Lu's eyebrows twitched, seriously suspecting that there was a bug in the judgment process of the first heavenly lord for the most virtuous person. But remembering her main destination for today, Jia Ai Lu suppressed her doubts and spoke out. Actually, my main purpose of coming today is to entrust someone to you. What? My sister, Jia Bailey, lowly. Read the secret language in the waves of the angel Galu. Luching disdains it, just a little lowly, where is she now? She is still in the heavenly realm now, but she will soon go to the mortal world to experience. So, are you going to the mortal world? Gailu nodded. Hmm. Great. Don't worry, your sister is my sister. Lu Qingyi sternly and quickly responded, afraid that this good thing would slip away from his fingertips. Coincidentally, he is also preparing to go to the world openly in the name of experience recently. If you are being monitored by the heavenly realm, just keep an eye on it. After all, even my sister has been entrusted by the God's hand to me. I believe you must have given me a proper name in the heavenly realm. In the future, I will visit the heavenly realm and change my nickname or something. He 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 he. Lu Chen's smile gradually brightened. Jia Ai Lu. Watching the smile on Lu Chang's face gradually become lewd. She suddenly felt a little regretful. But as soon as she thought about the rapid progress of her sister's cultivation in the human world under the careful care of Lu Cheng, she still held back the thought of regretting. But this doesn't prevent her from giving someone a wake.up call. If I go out to cultivate and come back, I find that someone has taken away Jia Bailey. There was a dangerous light in Gai Lu's eyes, and the threat was self.evident. How could that be? I'm such an honest person, ha ha ha. Lu Qing let out a dry laugh, feeling guilty and turning his head to one side. I hope so. Jia Ai Lu stood up and distanced herself from Lu Cheng, reached out her delicate hand, tore open a temporal and spatial crack, and turned around to leave. At this moment, the shouting of Lu Cheng came from behind. Hello. I said, are we friends now? Jia Ai Lu paused in her footsteps, turned around, and her clear eyes flickered like a clear spring. She looked at Lu Cheng, who was standing up next to the reed fire, bending over and gasping for breath. Her heart touched slightly, and she tilted her head to reveal a sweet smile. Skeleton, hmm. Lu Cheng was stunned. Realizing her loss of composure, Jia Ai Lu blushed and turned her head to avoid Lu Cheng's gaze. She panicked and threw something out of her hand. Then he turned around and left in one go, running away without looking back. That thing made a crisp sound in the air, creating a perfect arc and hitting Lu Cheng's forehead. Really, how can we throw objects on a flat surface and smash people to death? Lu Cheng covered his head and muttered discontentedly. He took the item in his hand and couldn't help but be stunned. This is a sapphire and blue flower pendant lay quietly in his palm. Jia Ai Lu is actually quite cute, maybe this is just a cute contrast. Lu Qing thought to himself and took off the matching sword sent by Jia Ai Lu from his waist, carefully tying the pendant to the hilt. In fact, from the beginning, Gai Lu discovered his little trick of creating illusions with a robe to slow down the relationship between the two. So even if Lu Qing discovers that the robe is fake and pretends to be real, Jia Ai Lu is completely unprepared and allows herself to drag into a fantasy realm. The risks involved are self. Evident. But fortunately, Lu Qing did not disappoint her, and from the beginning, Jia Ai Lu unconsciously entered the illusion. 
Later on, Lu Cheng launched an attack on Jia Ailu that he couldn't dodge, and the two of them continued their story one by one. In the back and forth tugging of the truth hypothesis, which is both true and false, the trust and tacit understanding between the two allow them to express their feelings and abandon past grievances. Lu Cheng's mouth curved slightly, and he looked at the sword in his hand, speaking with a tone of relief. Well, it's perfect for making a sword pendant. Fine-tuned. I made changes and finally wrote a version that satisfied me at least a bit. End of this chapter. Chapter 6. Chase's Law. You are listening at NovelFull.audio. Chapter 6 Chase's Law Ow. At this moment, a small milk dragon jumped up fiercely and raised its hand to cheer. Okay. That terrible big sister has finally left. And just as it was excited, a small hand quietly poked out of a small mound next to it, fiercely pressing it down. Shoo. Be careful, the other big demon is still there. The little milk dragon, who received the hint, trembled violently and silently moved some soil from the nearby small mound to cover itself. I'll lend you some soil to use, boss. Little milk dragon. Boss. You don't know how to do it yourself. At this moment, from Lu Cheng's perspective, it was so I dot catching to see four small mounds of soil standing on flat land. Among the four small mounds, one head and two short hands were also protruding. They whispered and gestured incessantly, occasionally pointing towards Lu Cheng, arguing fiercely. In the end, the leading little milk dragon, encouraged by its partners, trembled and stood up. Originally, it lived by a tree, with both food and sweetness in its daily life, making it an endless source of joy. Unexpectedly, that demon was unruly and unreasonable, cutting down trees and breaking wood was boundless. What people turned against him and were brutally beaten by his one move. Helplessly, they didn't want to go to the west, only with tears in their hearts, in their hearts, in their hearts. But now, there is nothing to hesitate about. For the sake of race, for the sake of companions, for a better future, it tugged at the corners of Luching's pants. As the leading dragon among the dragon cubs, it has a responsibility, an obligation, and Luching lowered his head, his long sword shining with a cold light in his hand. Leading Dragon It hugged Lu Cheng's calf and sold a cute one. Our little milk dragon underscore have pity on the children. That's right, in order to survive, it had to lower its noble head. Effect Group Call Lu Cheng, who has no resistance to cute creatures, obviously likes this trick. He hung his sword back in his waist, his fingers caressing his chin, searching in his mind for places worth settling in, and pondered. I was wrong to hastily demolish your home today. Since that's the case, I'll take you to see a new home now. Quickly confirm the target and location, and first name them according to their size. Long De, Long Air, Long Shao San, Long Si. Long Shao San raised his paw and said, Okay, my name is longer than theirs. Just as he grabbed the four little milk dragons and prepared to get up. Wait. Lu Cheng looked up in response, but at six o'clock in the morning, the red and yellow sunlight was inexplicably dazzling, blocking his view. In the high sky, a figure gathered a pair of wings resembling those of a griffin and quickly fell down. Long De, Long Air, Long Si, and Long Shao San were restless in Lu Cheng's arms. They clearly saw that the meteorites in the sky had already ignited a raging fire. Boom! Accompanied by a loud bang. The visitor turned their head down and slammed heavily onto the ground, causing a big explosion that lifted thick dust. Cough, cough, for so long, old iron head, you still can't change the problem of iron. Lu Ching coughed and continuously patted the dust on his body with his hands, landing in this posture. He didn't have to think he knew who it was. The person who came is the teacher of the demon school. Hashtag dollar amp, amp. Um Lu Cheng. May I ask your surname and who? Hashtag dollar amp, amp. Dot. You'd better call me old iron head. 
Sizaf climbed up from the ground, although his figure was shaky, he could not conceal the raging fire in his heart. He lifted his head and shook his hands as he held on to Lu Cheng. Angels! 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 They have already left, and they still need to stop quickly. In the supersonic sway, Lu Ching felt like he had lost himself. Fortunately, hearing this, Old Iron Head stopped his hands immediately. Sorry, I haven't seen the angel for too long, it's a bit awkward. Sizaf had a big bald head and touched the back of his head with a dry smile. At the same time, to express his apology, he lightly patted Lu Cheng's back with his left hand. The main reason is that the school's economy is currently worrying, and I'm trying to find ways to improve our quality of life. You're talking about angels, such a kind race. It's not excessive to lend us some money to improve our lives, right? By the way, it's not excessive to support us in expanding our home. Finally, give us a little more and let's build a magic city or something. This is also in line with common sense, isn't it? Lu Cheng, why aren't you talking? Lu Cheng. Lu Cheng, how did you vomit blood? Lu Cheng. In the narrow space of time, it is a forbidden area for new demons in the demon world. This place is filled with sword energy, and ordinary demons can be instantly torn apart even if they approach. Not to mention the residual pure angelic power, it is the nemesis of countless demons. There are several versions of legends circulating between the demon realm and the heavenly realm in this area, which are currently roughly divided into three types. The first one is that it was caused by a major battle between Magic Sword and God's Hand a year ago. The second type is somewhat inexplicable, as it is said to be sealed under a terrifying monster in the Abyss of the Abyss. Moreover, it is said that the Abyss below is actually a place where a certain demon and an angel have a private meeting. And the reason why the whole thing is so grand is just to cover up. Although most people tend to lean towards the version caused by the two-person battle. But the version that describes the forbidden love between angels and demons has inexplicably received widespread praise, and even released a book for public sale on the shopping program bar in the demon world, what is the ending, you ask. Glancing at the rows of tombstones on the edge of the cliff, I recall the limited edition, serious novel, in my home and the exquisite illustrations attached to the novel. Mail sign, I couldn't help but sigh in my heart. Warriors walk well. Seemingly sensing his wishes, a blood-red grass rose from the grave of a martyr. Old Iron Head. Doodle, doodle, doodle. Small grass sprouted from the ground one by one, and suddenly several graves were covered in red grass. The bright red color looked so bright in the sunlight, beautiful and delicious. Sizaf suppressed his appetite, and if it were normal, he might have taken these grasses back to school for the students to enjoy. But today is different because the creator of this forbidden land is right next to him, Magic Sword. Lu Cheng I saw Lu Cheng slowly getting up, carrying his hands on his back, walking back and forth on the edge of the cliff, seriously training Long De, Air, Xiao, San, and Si. Put your hands down. Stand straight. Bring Jiu Jiu together. Hmm. Long C, are you actually yawning? At your age, at your age, can you sleep? Cheer up, fast, fast. After some adjustments. Lu Cheng looked at the four-headed little dragon standing straight, nodded in satisfaction, and loudly said. What's the point of having no home? Cheer up. Although you have nothing today, I believe that in the near future, you will be able to wield your enemies and embrace a better future. You all. They are the hope of the dragon clan. So tell me loudly, are you ready? Ow. X4 speak up. I can't hear you. Do you still want to cheat so quietly? Ow. X4 I can't hear you. I still can't hear you. Ahem. X4 very good, very energetic. Lu Ching kicked the little milk dragons off the cliff with a fierce kick, patted his hands, and confidently said. According to the Chinese law, 
jumping off a cliff is a must-have an adventure. After getting down, you should work hard, children. Beside him, Saizaf had the privilege of recording a precious video of early demon taming and plotting the murder of Chianglong cubs, and vowed to apply what he had learned in the future. At present, it has traveled 11,655 light dot years and is closer to the galaxy where Jia Bailey and others are located report to headquarters, a total of 2,195 light dot years have been traveled today apply to continue sailing tomorrow approval application August 21, 2021, end of this chapter. Chapter 7 Can All Be Changed? You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 8 Approaching Graduation Ceremony, Part 1 You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. This translator is experiencing an error, please try another translator. Chapter 9 Approaching Graduation Ceremony, Middle You are listening at Novel Full dot Audio. Chapter 9 Approaching Graduation Ceremony Middle, after all, he buried many messy traps at the door. I don't believe it anymore. A demon can perfectly avoid all my ambushes. So under Kentaro Takazawa's bewildered gaze, Satania took peculiar steps and perfectly avoided all the traps. As a powerful demon, a unique way of walking is also essential. Satania put her hands on her waist and let out her unique queen's triple smile. Ah. Male sign ha ha ha. Ah. Male sign ha ha ha. Then he kicked over the signboard placed by Kentaro Takazawa in front of the teaching building, which gradually faded away from the sight of Lu Cheng and the others. This, this is impossible, even my last line of defense Kentaro Takazawa was completely petrified, frozen in place. Can we talk about my affairs now? Lu Cheng took out a lollipop from his pocket and held it in his mouth. He vaguely remembered that the opening ceremony of the school was clearly at 6 p.m. this afternoon, but he didn't expect a junior sister to come so early. Speaking of which, this classmate bears some inexplicable resemblance to Principal Longza. It's unlikely that he's any distant relative, is it, let's go. Kentaro Takazawa removed his invisibility spell, pushed open the door of the guard room, and walked towards the direction of the teacher building without looking back. He can't stay for a moment in this sad place. Lu Qing followed closely behind, but suddenly a strange touch came from the soles of his feet. A landmine lay quietly at his feet. Ahead, Kentaro Takazawa wore a proud smile on his face. Do you think it's okay to follow me? The safe route is only known to me. You are indeed too young, student Lu Qing. With a click, Kentaro Takazawa's smile instantly froze as he also stepped on a landmine. Different from Lu Cheng's feet. What he stepped on was a kind of explosive lightning, even if it was only a few kilograms of pressure, it could cause the metal pieces that were originally disconnected inside to connect and explode. Pup the landmine exploded, and a foul-smelling gas flowed out from inside, creating an extremely foul smell. Despite timely sealing his mouth and nose, Lu Cheng couldn't help but frown at the thought that his clothes had also caught this scent. A plain iron sword appeared in Lu Cheng's hand. Kentaro Takazawa weakly probed and said. You just drew your sword to remove thunder, right? Lu Cheng smiled silently, with a ginkgo-like smile on his face Kentaro Takazawa. You're just pulling your sword to remove thunder, right? In the principal's office Lu Cheng, who had changed into new clothes, sat opposite Kentaro Takazawa. Although he really wanted to easily dismantle Kentaro Takazawa just now, he still held back that thought. At least we'll have to wait until he finishes the main task. At this moment, our principal Longza is flipping back and forth through the messages that came from his phone. For a long time. Kentaro Takazawa was moved and let go of the small smartphone from his own hand. I didn't expect that Lu Cheng would not pay much attention to the situation in the demon world. Yesterday, when he was suddenly attacked by an angel, he exchanged fate for fortune. Despite repelling the strong enemy in the end, 
he was still seriously injured and his demonic power was non-existent. The spirit of dedicating himself wholeheartedly to the demon world and dying deeply moved him. I heard that your current strength is unparalleled, respected Mr. Magic Sword. Kentaro Takazawa pretended to be concerned and confirmed with Lu Cheng. At the same time, a thick stack of reports was pulled out of the drawer. Hmm. Lu Cheng nodded, although Jielu's angelic power healed his injury, it would take some time for the demonic power in his magic sword to fully recover. If it had been one year ago, let alone one tenth of it, I wouldn't have a drop left. Lu Qing roast in his heart. It's just that since he swung his sword out of the narrow space a year ago, he has voluntarily concealed his own situation with real illusions. Unfortunately, one of his storage items and one of his two illusions of making a wish are now incomplete and non-existent, great, I appreciate your dedication to the demon world. As a student of Lu Cheng who has been relegated for three years, here are some fines for you. Looking at a stack of thick reports, Kentaro Takazawa's mouth cracked to the roots of his teeth, feeling only how beautiful today was. He read word by word. Smuggling into the human world, violating the laws and regulations of the two realms, using the power of demons to purchase lottery tickets, and secretly smuggling a large number of human items for personal use there is also a new one, which was destroyed due to improper protection of the abandoned Hellgate. Deducting the subsidy you applied to the demon world for recuperation and interest. You owe a total of 79,375,101,864 yuan and 5,500 yuan in fines, which were previously paid by our school on your behalf. Don't misunderstand, suddenly mentioning these to you now has nothing to do with your declining strength. It's just that, as you know, our school is not very wealthy either. Recalling that Saizaf fell to the ground with a gentle tap while picking up Lu Cheng on his phone. As a great demon, he also saw at a glance the absence of another power within Lu Cheng's body. Kentaro Takazawa looked up. May I ask if it's by card or in cash? Land route. This transformation is really faster than flipping through a book. Lu Cheng picked up a rankiness placed next to Kentaro Takazawa's table and lightly threw it with his big hand. The harpoon flew straight out of the window and landed on a hill. Boom! A huge mushroom cloud rose in the sky, and the deafening sound of the explosion woke up the law enforcement team of the Magic City. Kentaro Takazawa Very well, respected Mr. Magic Sword. I'm glad that my casual joke has been so helpful to your injury. Kentaro Takazawa had a heart attack and forced himself to speak with a smile, saying, at the same time, he silently put the thick stack of reports in his hand back into the drawer, without noticing a golden light flashing on the long sword hanging from Lu Cheng's waist with an emerald and blue flower pendant. What a damn demon power that doesn't exist. Since that's the case, let's get back to the main topic. Although it's surprising that you suddenly requested to go to a human experience, we have arranged a first-class university for you. High School Lu Cheng interrupted Kentaro Takazawa. You have traveled 19 miles by land this year. I don't know what you're talking about, I'm just an ordinary graduate, Principal Longza. Lu Cheng did not mention his three-year retention, as his appearance inexplicably remained unchanged by the age of 16. Mainly, he is still waiting to spend a wonderful campus time with Jia Ailu's sister Jia Bailey. Well, the demonic girls who graduated this year also look quite cute like Yazi. Forget it, high school is also good. After all, those who go to the human world to experience angels and demons are rarely able to attend university. Thinking about it, Kentaro Takazawa suddenly sneered. I didn't expect that he would have the opportunity to openly send a great demon to the mortal world during his lifetime. Based on the cases committed by Lu Cheng during his illegal crossing of the human world before, it is inevitable that the human world will be destroyed in just a few days. Looking at the destroyed mountain outside the window, Kentaro Takazawa couldn't help but get excited. I'm really evil. Wait, why did the nearby mountain catch fire welcome to the demon realm for an interview hey, the rider in front, what are you doing in Tanaka? 
Under the fierce sunlight, the writer wiped away the tears flowing from his head and nervously said with a face covered in mosaic in the ambush pen, end of this chapter. Chapter 10 Approaching Graduation Ceremony, Part 2 You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 10 Approaching Graduation Ceremony, Part 2, Bedroom, Where Are the Law Enforcement Officers? Why haven't they gone to put out the fire yet? Kentaro Takazawa quickly made a phone call. Moshi Moshi, this is the human customer service of the law enforcement team. We remind you to press any key to hang up the phone. Kentaro Takazawa remained silent. Ten seconds later, a female voice came through the phone again. Congratulations on successfully matching the secret code. We will now transfer you to a real human customer service representative. Moshi Moshi, that's right, it's still me. It's lunch break now. Please hang up the phone quickly, lovely little Sabi, so as not to affect our rest. Thank you. Doodle, the customer service representative hung up the phone themselves. Beautiful, you are really some outstanding demons. Kentaro Takazawa put down the phone. Although he really wanted to curse at the human customer service representative, it was obvious that they were not willing to give him this opportunity. That. Shut up, don't make any noise. Kentaro Takazawa's eyes occasionally peeked out the window, only to confidently speak to Lu Cheng when he saw that law enforcement officers had finally gone to put out the fire. The supplementary payment you applied for will be credited to your account as scheduled, and the graduation file has also been processed for you. Please come to the ceremony on time this afternoon. Lu Cheng nodded and walked out of the office. Putting aside the idea of beating up Kentaro Takazawa, Master Lu, who had been busy all day, only wanted to find a place to eat for himself. Come to the open playground. After looking around and confirming that there was no one around, Lu Ching lightly tapped his fingers, and a simple kitchen with only three sides and no roof appeared in front of him out of thin air. Skillfully twist the gas pressure reducing valve on the gas tank, that is, turn on the gas stove, and the stove will rise. Place the large flat bottomed pot on the stove and heat it over high heat. After some thought, Lu Cheng took out a basket of potatoes that had already been washed and peeled, and cut them into evenly sized small potatoes. Then make some snacks. Pour not a lot of oil into the pot, turn the switch to control the oil temperature between 100.120 degrees, and add potatoes. Six minutes had passed in the blink of an eye, and the potatoes had already slightly charred in the oil pan. Home-cooked men hang all sorts of fancy tricks without explanation. Luching thought, flipping the potatoes in the pot, and the air began to permeate with a delicious aroma that immediately ignited his appetite. After another four minutes, Lu Cheng stirred the potatoes slightly again to ensure that they were evenly heated. Turn the stove to medium heat and let it sit on the kong for another three minutes. At this point, the potatoes have become golden and crispy, presenting a look that both the elderly and children love to eat. This is like something, missing the tempting taste before starting, and cooking carefully with excitement in my heart, just to gradually extract the aroma of potatoes. After putting the cooked potatoes into a spoon and adding some oil, Lu Cheng picked up a piece and carefully examined it in front of the sun. Under the sunlight, the potato is wrapped in a beautiful crispy shell. When gently opened, the inside is very soft, scorched on the outside and tender on the inside. The whole dish emits an enticing luster. Lu Cheng returned the potatoes to the pot with satisfaction, sprinkled with garlic, salt and essential chili powder, added a drop of oil, gently stir-fried a few times, and sprinkled with scallions. In the end, Lu Cheng clenched his hands and a little bit of angelic power turned into stars, falling down his arm and injecting soul into this pot of potatoes. Putting the prepared potatoes into small snack bags and batches, Lu Cheng couldn't help but feel pleased with himself, you may not believe it when I say it, but the dishes I make shine brightly. This cooking method is between frying and frying, with less oil than frying and more oil than frying. In local dialect, it is called kong. In short, with his meticulous operation, a perfect enchi kong potato, flash, was completed like this. 
After finishing, Lu Cheng inserted a toothpick into the potato, put it in his mouth, and took a bite. The taste of potatoes is charred on the outside and tender on the inside, crispy but not burnt, delicate but not greasy, not very good. After wolfing down three bags and looking at the remaining two, Lu Ching suddenly felt a bit solemn and tasteless, sighing. I am worthy of it, even in such a simple environment, I can still cook such perfect dishes. With a bang, black smoke rose from the stove. Stove. Are you cursing again? Lu Ching probed and said, the forehead water is not deep, is there a dragon that is spiritual? Kitchen. You his mother, connote me. Love to use, no need. The stove has exploded, causing dissatisfaction. No, it's due to long-term disrepair. Land route. Time flies by in a blink of an eye, and unconsciously it has arrived at four o'clock. Demon students have gradually entered the school. They all had a hint of fear on their faces, just because they heard that teacher Sizaf had gathered some food that demons couldn't even swallow outside, ready to give them as graduation gifts. We really ate enough, teacher. A demonic student absentmindedly took a basketball from a teammate's rebound and made a three-step layup from the opponent's three-dot point line, dunking the ball into their own basket. Lu Ching noticed it on the side and remembered a TV drama he had watched before his time traveling. The person in it even jumped a few meters high while playing basketball. Forgive me for being blunt, your ball needs to be blocked by someone surnamed Xiao. Don't misunderstand, I'm not talking about Jordan, let alone Jorge Peak, but Xiao Feng. Shu Shu. Red team members, please show some respect for basketball and do not use magic to play. The referee whistled and entered the field with a yellow card, stuffing it into the hands of the red team members. A member of the red team committed a foul and received a yellow card that can be used at will. At the same time, the blue team received three points. We hope that the red team will continue to work hard and lose the game as soon as possible. The teammates of the red team member who committed the foul all threw admiring glances at him, doing well. With a few more goals, the opposing team could score 100 points and steadily lose the game. Wait, when we played before, were the rules the same at this moment, a member of the blue team raised his hand and asked a question. For a moment, everyone's gaze converged on him with disdain. Isn't the rule of basketball like this? A country bumpkin. The blue team members weakly put down their hands. Is that so? Maybe I made a mistake. Human sports are really unique. Damn it. How could you, TM, be contemptuous of others? Lu Cheng twisted his head to one side. That's why he hasn't been willing to touch basketball in the demon world for so long, you have no idea what strange rules will come next. The time has arrived at 5.20 p.m. A pair of slender feet wearing black silk stepped into the school gate, and the visitor had a hairpin hanging from their short hair. Although they were demons, they had an angelic face. Moon Nays Vinette April. She, who claims to be the kindest demon in the history of the demon world and has purple hair and pupils, does not seem like an evil demon no matter how she looks. Don't make clothes for my junior sister, it's taking up a lot of time. At the entrance, Vina was so distressed that she covered her head. Originally, she wanted to come to the school early to see if she could help prepare for the opening ceremony. But since the morning, she has been preparing clothes for her younger classmates, and yesterday she accompanied her parents to climb the mountain, which consumed a lot of energy. But I was originally worried that just being called senior sister would lead to her family's dissatisfaction if she sewed clothes on her own, but I didn't expect their whole family to be so happy. At the thought of handing the clothes over to her junior sister with her own hands, Winnie's face was filled with a happy smile, which made her feel that everything was worth it. I just don't know how Chubby's injury is doing, Vina couldn't help but worry about the Warcraft cub she adopted yesterday. Then Vina gently patted her little face. You need to calm down, Vina. You can't just daydream anymore. His parents must take good care of him. Let's hurry and attend the ceremony now. 
Winnie thought so, and then in the blink of an eye, she saw a table overturned on the ground, with no one to manage it. The ground was bumpy and messy, and there was even a kick-down signpost not far away. She silently helped the table straighten the room and quickly cleaned up the scene, sweeping the messy floor. Then she was amazed to find that the guide sign she had just lifted was not adjusted properly no matter how it was adjusted. Just as she was about to change to the correct signboard, a quiet enrollment registration form lying on the ground caught her eye. Picking up the school registration form on the ground, Vina flipped through it and found that the entire page was blank, without even a student's registration. Everyone really, how could this be? If the principal knew, how sad it would be. Taking off the pen inserted in the notebook, Vina angrily prepared to sign her name on the notebook. Unexpectedly, at the moment when the pen came into contact with the written text, a pink gas sprayed out and directly onto Vina's face. Ha, huh, what's going on? Ha ha how to respond? Ha 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 what's going on? Winnie bent over with a smile, her hands tightly wrapped around her belly, and her desire to laugh couldn't be stopped. However, despite this, she still dragged her body towards the school's miscellaneous room. Because she was really worried that the wrong directional sign placed in the middle of the road would mislead some students who didn't recognize the way. End of this chapter